Namaste everyone. Today I will teach about upper back pain because that is a major problem nowadays. Now we will do the yoga so fix that. It will protect you from the disease in future and who have upper back pain right now like who is working in the office like almost 8 to 9 hours so they can do it. And so let's start. So from here you can sit in simple cross leg or you can take a Padmasana like right leg front. First up, up over your thigh and then second leg up over your other thigh. If you cannot sit like this, it's okay. Sit in any comfortable posture, it's okay. It depends on you, your, where your body is comfortable. And then from here, first, it's a normal exercise. First, just do some side movements. Inhale, hands up. And then place the palm on the ground. Drop the elbow. If you cannot drop the elbow, it's okay. You can straight it. It's okay. Depends on you. But your biceps on the ear and then look up like this and then from here if you can you can drop the elbow inhale center exhale change with breathing breathing is most important inhale center exhale change inhale center exhale change inhale center and exhale chain. This you do seven times and then hold here for seven counts. I will just count three, but you will count seven or ten. One, two, and three. Now inhale center and then exhale chain. Again, same. Seven or ten counts. But I count three. One, two, and three. Now inhale center and then exhale. Release the hand. From here. The next posture, this is very effective for your upper back. You will feel the stretch in your upper back. So for that, inhale, hands up. And shoulder level. Then right hand up over your left hand. And come to Namaste. And lift the elbow up in shoulder level. Like this. And deep breath. Inhale and exhale. Stay here for seven times. One. Two. Three, I'm showing you, so I'm just count three, and then from here, exhale, bend the forward body and elbow one step forward. Now, drop the hand on the ground. Do as much you can, depends on your cap capability, but don't force yourself. And then from here, drop the forehead again, stay here for seven times, and then when you come back, then inhale, center, and then exhale, release. And then chain to the opposite side, left side, same. Up here for seven counts and then down here for seven counts. Then come back and then release the hand. If you sit in Padmasana, then you can open the leg first and shake it like seven times. And then change the leg. Left leg first and then right leg over your other thigh. Now from here, the other posture is very good for upper back. So for that, first your both hands back and interlock your fingers elbow straight if you cannot straight the elbow you can use the towel or your rope expand your chest don't do like this try to straight and expand now from here inhale hands up and look up spine must be straight when you look up don't bring the body forward body in center and then exhale down chin on your chest again inhale up Exhale down. Breathing is most important. So don't forget to focus on breathing. Inhale. Exhale. Do this 7 to 10 times. And then in final, inhale, hands up. And then exhale. Bend your body forward. Chest on your mat. Look forward. And then push your hand forward. Again, stay here for 7 times. And then inhale, side turn. And then exhale and then shake the hand one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten now from here the another posture so again open the leg first and shake it every posture you can give the relaxation on your legs so up and down now from here you can sit in cross leg yes and then from here inhale hands up in shoulder level Place the palm to the right side. Hit. 
place the palm to the right side and then slowly twist it place the other palm over you in one line of your other palm here and look forward you can bring the hand maximum forward as much as you can and feel the stretch inside muscles and then inhale exhale change forward center exhale do seven times and then stay here for seven counts and then again inhale center stay here for seven counts and then slow back come to the center and release your hand the another one is okay bring the right hand up and place the right hand to the left side drop the shoulder and then from here try to raise your other hand forward both shoulder on the ground it will give you nice stretch in your shoulder blade and your shoulder muscles and then drop the forehead stay here again for seven counts and then slowly inhale hands up exhale change to the other side try to don't do like this don't look left or right in center and drop the sh shoulder both shoulder try to on the ground if you cannot is okay but just try don't give up and then drop again stay here for seven counts and then inhale and then exhale now from here we will go to the cat pose so open your legs shake it fast 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and up and down 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 now bend to both knees and from here come to the cat pose from here to outside your upper knee in your waist level and hand in shoulder level and then from here slowly straight your hand and try to drop the chest when you drop the chest make sure that your knee and waist in one line don't go forward or don't go so back in center and then drop it okay and look forward it's very good for your upper back stay here for some counts and then slowly come to the center now from here this time try to bring your right hand inside and drop the shoulder between your leg and then slowly bring your other hand maximum back as much you can and look up for seven counts and then again slowly come to the center and then exhale change to the other side and drop it if you can then touch the ground but if you cannot just stay in half is okay and look up now slowly come to the center and slowly go back So this is some postures there is a lot of postures for upper back pain to cure the upper back pain but i will post that in my next video for for now just practice this every morning and evening or between the work if you feel that you can you can practice and you will feel instant relaxation in upper back pain so namaste thank you